Finally, domestic and sexual violence, both issues are coming to the forefront. We've realized in Indiana it's just not acceptable that one in six girls by the time they're in high school have been raped or sexually assaulted. And nationally, more than seven million children live in homes um, where domestic violence is prevalent. That's more than the population of Indiana. And it's time to say no. And it's really time for Indiana to recognize that wholesome, happy Indiana has no place for domestic or sexual violence. So I'm just so pleased that my colleagues have helped me take on a lot of these issues and we're doing something about it. Shelters all over Indiana are hurting and hurting quite a bit. We don't have enough beds for people who want to leave um, situations of, of domestic violence, extreme situations, um, dangerous situations. It's extremely urgent and important right now that we can find funding so that when people do summon the courage to leave that there's a place waiting for them and a safe place waiting for them. Um, we have been able to find some funding, we hope, uh, to support them in this way. And we also hope to find funding as well in the same bill to support victims of sexual violence at the same time.